Day Squad Walk Back. Now, since the second lockdown, I have been so desperate to do some collaborative work with some of my musician friends. Um, of course, we're not allowed to go and mix with others, and it's really tough for someone like myself, and I'm sure for you guys who are accustomed to working with your bandmates, uh, co-writers, and so on. Now, I've got a track that needs some drums, and I want to get those drums down, and I want to do it over Zoom. I want to be able to sound engineer a session over Zoom with my nephew, who's a fantastic all-round musician, multi-instrumentalist and producer. Tim Smart UK is his channel. I have mentioned the idea to him some time ago. So I'm going to pull over in a minute and give him a call and see if he's free to get this down. So let's see what he says. Okay, I'm going to call him right now. So um, let me see. Hey Tim, how you doing? Hey man, how you doing, Uncle? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Um, you know, I mentioned to you some time ago I wanted to do a project with you. I, um, I want to record you over Zoom playing some live drums. I've got a track that I want you to lay some drums on. So, um, what's your what's your availability like? Okay, yeah. Um, okay. How about how about what about next week? Next week. Okay. Um, next. How soon do you want to do it? Well, I mean, I, I want to do it for a, a, a YouTube video, yeah. so, um, well, yeah, I can... That sounds really good. That's going to be big, man. That sounds like something yeah. exciting. And on Zoom as well. On Zoom, yeah, yeah. So, if you're up for it still, let, let's do it. Oh, let's do it, man. Oh, that fantastic. Good. Excellent. Right, just give me a shout. I will do, I will do. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Right, you too, man. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Yes, so we've got him. You know, this is going to be so amazing. And of course, if I'm able to pull it off, you will also. Okay, so let's get it. Wow. <laughs> right. Okay, people, we're back in the studio and we're ready to rumble. Um, think, uh, thanks so much for agreeing to do this, Tim. I really appreciate it. I know you're very, very busy um, and you've taken time out to, to, to help with this and we're both going to have fun, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be so exciting. Um, I'm really excited to be working with the one and only Music Tech Training aka Uncle D. It's been long awaited and the technology has allowed us to do this we're right where we are from the comfort of our homes. It's amazing. So I've already said to you guys how uh, amazing Tim is, an all-round musician, um, producer, just just uh, exceptional talent all round. And today you're going to be laying down some drums. What do you hope to achieve from this project right here, Tim, in terms of your audience? Okay, so people for who are watching on my channel, basically I want to show you how a session musician doesn't have to be a, just a drummer, but a drummer, um, a guitarist, a music producer, how we can collaborate with engineers and other musicians online using Zoom, using the internet, obviously with what we have, even with the limitations, how it's still possible, um, how we can show that we can get as musicians, as producers, engineers to control the whole setup from wherever they are. There's literally no strings attached, no one, no uh, transportation. I mean, he's going to be at home, as you're going to see, and he's going to be recording me. I'm going to be telling him what I need in my headphones, what I need to be turned up, turned down. And it's going to be incredible, man. I just want the people to see that it's possible. There's no excuses. And we can really make some good music in lockdown. Really? Oh, really. Definitely, man. For my audience, I want to show exactly the same thing what is actually possible using the technology, in particular using Zoom and how we use Logic um, for this particular um, task. Yeah, everything's set up. We're all marked up over here. Um, really, we're just ready to go. We'll just go for a couple um, takes. It's not going to be anything. Um, we're not going to do too much. We just want to demonstrate how really exciting this is for us to be able to share this with you and get to it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So yeah, just to kind of, uh, what we are going to do, uh, not for this session, in fact, um, for later on, we will actually lay the drums down, 
um, in a way that w where we actually going to keep the takes. OK, but for, for this, this is just a demonstration of what's possible through Zoom recording live drums remotely through so Zoom. I'm going to be your sound engineer. You're going to be sitting at the drums, playing those drums. You won't have to get up to do anything at all. I'll be controlling your computer, which is in your control room remotely over here. I mean, how insane is that, man? It's insane. I'm not leaving this room. I'm going to be staying in the in the live room, recording drums. I've got my headphones on um, and anything that I need, anything I request, headphones, can you turn it up? Um, he's going to have control of the audio interface. He's going to have control of my mixer. He's going to have control of my logic and everything is being controlled from the comfort of Berkshire, where, where he is. We're on completely different sides. We're going to see me here. We're going to try and keep it up cut so you can see that we are not uh, this is not this is not fake. This is real. <laughs> completely, man. Completely. Yeah. Is let me just show you real quick how things are set up. Actually, I'm playing back. I I am playing back right now. I'm gonna hit stop. Everything. Boom. Stop. You know. I'm gonna open the mixer. I'm let me open the mixer on your computer. Boom. He's you opening see? all control from his computer at home, Uncle. If you don't mind, just turn up the hi hat a little bit. Just yep. so can see what's going on right now. How yeah. how about this? Yeah, uh, there you go. As much as you want, man. As much yeah, as you right want, there, you know. Right there, man. Headphones. That's, uh, nice. Everything's everything's good. Let's just give a, uh, the folks a little taste of what you're playing to. Uncle D, I'm gonna need you to just turn the click on for me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just turn the track up a tiny, tiny bit. Um, okay. I'm not doing anything if you just, you know. Yeah, man. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna just test and see, make sure it's all good. Okay. So let me run that for you from the top here. Yeah, with yeah. the click on. Cool. All right. Sweet. So, yeah. So one other thing that we need to point out as well before we actually get into this is um, there, the, although the, the technology is there and we're making good use of it, um, Zoom hasn't quite reached the point where I'm able to when when Tim is recording his drums, I'm able to hear the drums and the music at the same time um, because the latency issues and stuff like that, that's not quite possible yet. But I'm going to sync up the instrumental a bit later on so you can actually feel what he's doing. But when I'm engineering him, all I'll be hearing is the drums and not the backing track. Of course, he's going to hear both. OK, are we good, sir? Yeah, we're all good to go, man. I'm ready to do Lovely, it. man. All right, man, let's do it. Okay, so the very first thing I recommend you do is go to zoom.us, head over to resources and download Zoom client. And then you'll get to this option here where you can download the Zoom client for meetings, get that. And ideally you wanna grab the very latest version. That way you're up to date with all of the most recent and updated features in Zoom. Once you've installed that, you then move to the next step. This doesn't have to be a paid version. This will work on the free version. Um, however, of course, with the free version, you're limited to only 40 minutes of use, and then you've got to start again and set it all up. So I'm always gonna recommend the paid version. That way you can just set it up once and just run it throughout your whole session. But anyway, the remote control feature does work on the free version of Zoom. Anyway, next thing we're going to do is come down here to share screen and the screen I'm sharing is Logic Pro X and make sure you check these two boxes, share computer sound and optimize screen share for video clips, share. Now this is the computer that we're using for recording our audio, the main studio computer. Now, as you can see right here, we've got the option remote control. I'm going to click on that and I will see in the drop down here, all of the participants in this session will be listed down here. Now, at the moment for this quick demonstration, I've only got one additional computer connected and I've named it remote engineer. So let's click on remote engineer. And now we've handed control over to the remote engineer. Now, this is the view from the remote engineer's perspective. As you can see at the top of the screen, the box that says 
you can control MTT HQ's screen. That means whatever I do on screen right now will control whatever is happening on the other computer. So if I was to select this, this is the perspective from the remote engineer. I'm clicking here. I select that. And this is the perspective from the hosting computer. And if I was to reduce this volume fader right here, you'd see them both moving at the same time. So that is the actual remote control side of things. Okay, so in terms of the computers that we were using, I myself was using an i7 iMac in my studio as the remote engineer. In Tim's studio, he was using an i7 iMac as well. That machine was the Logic computer. And in the drum room, Tim was using an i9 MacBook Pro. All of these were connected via LAN to the internet and the Zoom client, of course, was installed on all three. Okay, so there's one more crucial thing that you need to do in terms of your door. This should apply to all digital audio workstations, but I'll be demonstrating in Logic. So you need to come up to your audio preferences window, and we are going to change the output device from whatever your sound card is or audio interface is. We're gonna change that to Zoom audio device. Now, Automatically in Logic, both the output and input devices change at the same time. Make sure that you change the input device back to your normal input device. Mine is the Audience ID14 at the moment. If you left them both as a Zoom audio device, you'll get a crazy feedback loop and it will become very noisy indeed, very quick. Now everyone in your Zoom session will hear what you're playing back from your Logic Pro X computer. Finally, remember to switch the audio interface back from the Zoom driver to your audio interface when you are ready to start recording again. Unfortunately, this is what you've got to do each time when you're switching from playback to recording. It's a bit of a headache, but it's how you're gonna overcome the latency issues associated with the Zoom driver. Let's go for the first take. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are cooking with gas right now, man. Okay, so let's play that back. Let's see how that groove is going. So once that's saved now, what I need to do in order for me uh, to hear back um, the drums with the instrumental underneath is I need to change the output settings. So I'm gonna open up the audio preferences and I'm gonna change this, uh, the output to the zoom output okay and this will allow us i need to make sure this is on here otherwise we'll get feedback and now for action that Okay, so we're gonna go for the second vibe now, second groove. All right, man, let's hear this back.
man. Oh, man. Nah, this is crazy. This is mad. <laughs> wow. Feeling it, man. Feeling it. I, loving it, man. Loving the vibe. I just want to let the uh, audience know that when you're doing this practice and uh, from my end, I'm listening to the drummer, what you will find is because of the delays of the data being transferred from Tim's studio to here, there are times when it will feel as though things have slowed down or the drummer has slowed down, but that's, he's, he's perfectly in time. Um, but you might feel, oh, it's going in and out of time. No, that's just the data transfer. That's just buffering that's going on. So don't let that put you off. Okay, Tim. So we're here, man. We, we, we did it, man. We set out, yeah. we, uh, we set a target. And as far as I'm concerned, oh, we achieved it. What do you reckon? Yeah, man, it sounds good. It sounds like we got, we achieved what we set out to achieve at the end of the day. Um, and the control that you had, like you had control of everything. I mean, what more can we say? It's just, it was incredible. Just the fact that I was able to stop, start, record, adjust levels. Like I remember you needed some more in in the cans. You needed more of, I think the, the, the hi-hat. I was able to, to, to from, from here, adjust the the mic level back in your studio and the thing is it's like you guys have to remember that usually typically if we if we was to do this um you know if we were to do this if i was to do this on my own i would have to be running around or have someone here which is why it's why which is why we're stressing that point and on top of that um the quality that we're getting I mean, we're using Zoom right now. There's no technology that's been made so that we can do it effectively, but we've made it work through Zoom, which is incredible. Uh, 100%, man, 100%. So yeah, so beyond this, you know, I'm looking forward to doing more of these um, with you and bringing in some more guys, you know, maybe doing a three-way or a four-way, maybe bringing a, a guitarist or some horns, horn players or whatever. And... Um, that's going to be that's going to be amazing do you know what i mean just recording the sessions remotely with a band remotely i mean yeah I, i'm 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 excited man definitely definitely future collaborations getting more people involved and just making it more more of a popular thing so that you know companies can actually see that you know musicians uh producers studios and engineers want to expand and do productions outside of in outside of in-studio sessions outside of traveling and it's gonna have to it's going that way anyway so you know might as well start now 100 percent. appreciate the opportunity and we'll speak soon until the next one take care man yes great stuff i really do hope you found the video useful if you did drop me a line in the comment section like the video and subscribe to the channel this will really help me out now remember to support me at dospeech.com as well as on my social media channels and finally switch on that notification bell so just like the rest of the mttc squad you'll find out as soon as my next video drops until next time i'm dr deuce peace